Tonight, an information request by 13 News Now shows how Virginia's growing cannabis culture could be driving a higher number of concerned medical calls. Alex Littlehales reports on some of the side effects of the state moving toward legalized sales. One concern is showing up more and more across the phone lines in Virginia's poison control centers. With all these um, unregulated manufacturing processes, you really have no idea what you're getting. Cannabis sales are still illegal in the Commonwealth until next year, meaning Virginians are using cannabis alternatives like synthetic and Delta 8 products. But they're tapping into an unregulated market, one that could cause problems. Don't want people using Delta 8 thinking that it's safe and that it's going to treat their underlying medical condition. So we wanted to know how often are Virginians exposed to either synthetic marijuana or Delta 8 products and then have to call one of Virginia's poison control centers. A data request found in 2022 there were more than 1,200 calls across the Commonwealth related to THC, which is the psychoactive element of marijuana. 180 of those calls are specifically coded for synthetic or Delta 8 products, and 60 of those exposures come from the easternmost district, which includes Hampton Roads. Might include hallucinations or confusions or trouble walking. Dr. Kelly Johnson Arbor is executive director at the National Capital Poison Center. She says some of these calls may be people misled by false advertising. And the legal loophole for this kind of product is driving up exposure calls everywhere. I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now.